Hello everyone and welcome back to another creepy pasta reading. So it's been definitely a long time since I've done one of these. I do not even recall the last time I did one, but you guys still seem to like them because I think um, the Sonic that EXE one I did a few years ago is um, probably like my 10th most popular or something like that. I don't remember, but um, the majority voted for um, me to do a creepy pasta reading. You guys said you liked them. So this time we're not going to be doing a haunted video game or like a lost episode or something. We're going to be doing something completely different. Um, this is supposed to be a real life type of creepy pasta. So, it's been a little while since I've done the typical spoopy voice, so let me try it. So, there's a legend circulating around the television industry. It is about Channel Infinity. Channel Infinity is hard to get to. Reports vary as well as to what it actually is. I will tell you how to get there and then what to do. Acquire television, preferably with analog for the best experience. And the older, the better. Acquire remote control. It does not have to go with the television you're using. Turn on the TV, set it to a channel that is static, or just a plain black screen if you're using a digital TV. Basically, the channel you do not receive. Leave the room for about three hours. If you have the significant other in the house, have them with you. It is also best to call over a few friends. During those three hours, you should acquire a few items. I will list them in order from the most important to the least. Note, none of these are mandatory, but they help. You will want an item that you hold dear, two handheld mirrors, a firearm or other weapon, a favorite book, a mobile communications device, a key, a sledgehammer, or a pickaxe. After roughly three hours have passed, re-enter the room. Have everyone else wait outside the door. Close the door. Stare at the static or blank screen, whatever you set the TV to, until you feel disoriented or freaked out. Call the others into the room. Give them the item that you hold dear to the person that you care about the most in the room. Then send them back out. If you did not grab an item that you hold dear, hug that person and whisper a secret in their ear. Send them back out and command them to not come back in no matter what until you open the door again. Note, this will be harder for them if there are more of them. But it will be safer for you if there are more people. Trust me. Hold the mirror so that one is reflecting the television onto the other, and the second is reflecting you, so it looks as if the television is behind you. Stay like this until a question appears on the screen. If you do not grab the mirrors, then sit in a chair facing away from the TV until you hear a noise. Grab the remote. There will be a question on the screen. Press channel up to answer yes, channel down to answer no. There will be anywhere from 3 to 26 questions, if reports are to be trusted. Questions will be anywhere from trivial to deep philosophical personal questions. Answer truthfully, or you will not succeed in reaching channel infinity. After the questions, one of three things will happen. Your favorite show of all time will come on, but in the episode, all of the characters will be heart-wrenchingly killed. You'll see a picture of your least favorite person or thing ever. This is where you use a firearm or other weapon. Break the TV with the weapon. It will then fix itself. Note, this is obviously the easiest of the three things. 3. A strange, shimmery vortex will surround you, and you'll be pulled into an alternate dimension. If you find yourself here, here is what to do. You'll find yourself in a twisted replica of your house. You will need to get to your room, where you will find the four items listed that you will need for this part. Take them, exit your house, outside will be a more evil looking version of your world with a red sky, a gray sun, dark orange plants, and an overpresent thin vermilion mist. You must go to the nearest public building, example, a school, mall, or gas station. Use the key on the door and enter the key will fit the lock. Do not get a key, climb in through a window. Upon entering, find a room with only the one entrance. Sit down and begin reading the book. If you did not get a book, just sit down and be bored or scared. You will hear footsteps outside of the door sometime within the next hour. Don't look up from the book. After you can no longer hear the footsteps, count to 250 out loud. Every 10 numbers, you will hear another footstep closer and closer to the door. Upon reaching 250, you will hear a knock on the door. If there are three knocks, open the door. If there are four, say, I forbid you twice, and then open the door. 
you will see a stone statue of someone you love deeply outside the door. It could be a family member, best friend, romantic partner, even a fictional character. Smash its head to bits with a sledgehammer or pickaxe. If it is a female, also destroy the left hand. If you did not get the hammer or pick, push the statue over. Exit the building from the entrance you came in through. It'll be night. Look at the moon. It'll be either pink or green, either full or half. If it is pink and half, pull out the phone, call your third most recent contact. If it is pink and full, pull out the phone and dial a random number. Before they pick up, bite through your tongue. If you did not get the device, profend to do the things above. Green and half, strip off your clothing and sprint back to your house. Don't look behind you no matter what. Green and full, to put it bluntly, you're screwed. You'll be dead within half an hour. If it is first, the three, you will wake up in front of the television and you can continue the ritual. After this, you have searched channel infinity. What you do now is up to you. If you go to the guide function, you will see shows listed as the meaning of life, how to acquire true love, choose one. Note, the more people you have outside the door with you determines the revelations that there are of the shows. The more people, the better chance you have of seeing shows more life-changing results, or if you keep watching the static without going to guide or breaking eye contact with the television, you will see a series of images that will, if deciphered, reveal the answer to your greatest question. There are at this point many options, too many to write here. Just do what you feel as if you must. Something will happen. The overwhelming majority of things will be good, but some will be bad. You may leave the room at any point. However, there are two catches. You may never speak what you learned after accessing channel infinity, and you may only reach channel infinity four times in your life. Hope you find the experience enlightening, written by Jet Cyber. All right, so that was Channel Infinity. I found it a very cool creepy pasta. I actually liked it a lot. It is sort of something that um, I've never really seen before because with um, a lot of the stories such as, I don't know, Jeff the Killer or something, it's always like, crazy boy, go all stabby. Or something about like, I don't know, it's Squidward's suicide. It's like, and then there were spooky things happening and blood red eyes and hyper realistic blood and blah, 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 this and blah, 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 that. And I mean, I think this one was written more recently. Like, let me check. I want to see. There's a date under it. I don't, I don't actually know um, if there is a date. Let me see. Um, no, no, there's not a date. But um, if I were to guess, I think I've seen somebody read it like four or five years ago. Um, so, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little creepypasta reading. More will be to come, so have a good day, everyone.